Bayswater Satchel uh, Mulberry video. Um, you probably clicked on this because you're interested in the Bayswater Satchel uh, review, which I'm just about to do before I tell you who I am, because that's good behavior. Uh, we are BS and um, we have a luxury resale shop in Chetham Manor, the UK, which is currently in lockdown. As many of you probably know, um, only the supermarkets are allowed to open and essential stores. Chanel, Mulberry and Louis are all essential items, but the government says no. Um, we are a two man team. So it's me and Austin. If you watched any of our other videos, he features, he does men's, he does women's, he does, he doesn't care. It's uh, me. And he's behind the camera. So if you hear another voice, that's him. Um, generally what we do in these videos is we have conversation about the bag when going through all the technical, um, bits and pieces. Um, if you just watched the car video and heard me say this, and I'm terribly sorry, um, but we've had some reviews from our American audience who, um, who would prefer more technical um, advice um, and they got confused about the back and forth like banter. Um, maybe it's a British thing, I don't know. Um, so we're gonna go through the bag with more technical um, importance onto the bag. In other reviews, I just sort of whiz through them, tell you about them, tell you rough things, but apparently people wanna know their levers and things like that. So that's what we're going to do. So this is a Bayswater satchel. Um, which is the smallest Bayswater. Bayswater do, did, have done so many Bayswaters, I can't really keep up at this point. But you've got the satchel, this is heritage style. There is the new style, which is the boxier one where the sides come out, the sides go in. We've done multiple videos on them. If, you're, if you want to see those, then you can go to our page, click on the links. Um, they do the regular Bayswater, which is the most famous one, which came out in 2003 and designed by Nicholas Knightley, um, just as he left, really. And then Emma Hill came on and brought all the bright colours, did the oak, blah, 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 and everyone loves it. Then we got the oversized Bayswater, which has the two buckles on the front. This continued very early on and quite a rare bag to get your hands on. Um, and then they got the Piccadilly, which is the giant one. It's absolutely massive, more of a travel piece, often listed as a men's travel piece bag. Um, then obviously with the introduction of Johnny Coker, who has now gone to uh, Louis Vuitton, um, he introduced the new Bayswater to us, which is the boxy one, like I just said, which comes in the satchel, the regular, and then they did offspring of that family. So they did the zip Bayswater, the Bayswater with strap, and likewise, they did other Bayswaters. There's a double-sided Bayswater, which is, uh, which was really unpopular, but now you can't get. Um, what other Bayswaters, Austin? The, the, uh, both in the heritage style and, and the older style, there's so many different variants. And offspring, um, like the, some which were never really released properly, and there were like ten of. But yeah, there's lots of them. Yes. So this is the satchel. Now um, we'll go through it step by step. Um, before I start, I did mention I with the Cara. This again is. I'll just put the handles down for them now. This does that look okay, or does yeah, it look fine. like I just destroyed it? Yeah, um, kind of. No, it's fine. It's um, fine. Um, so this is a star purchase. I won't go into star purchases now. I will do a separate video. We previously worked for Mulberry. Obviously, these aren't our bags. We bought them. Um, <laughs> uh, but these, well, many moons ago, we worked for the company. Uh, we worked for the company. So this is a star purchase. And now what that means is it was previously purchased by a member of staff for a discounted price. I'll do a separate video on it. It's marked inside, which means it cannot be repaired under any circumstance. So as long as you're happy when you buy the bag that you can't have anything on it repaired, and you just like move it on if it gets damaged or whatever or you don't like it anymore um if you do send it to repair they will confiscate it and they will destroy it apparently or it'll probably just go into another staff sale yes <laughs> that's the irony um so with this bag it is a uh basically such the smallest one so it would come with a strap when these bags go into the process of being staff sales um for the reduced price they take off all the extras to go into their repair center and to go into their extras pile because generally there's nothing wrong with them they haven't been used they're normally returned bags etc so most not all but most staff purchases bags will be missing something um, so this one is missing the strap. So it is available to buy with us, but it would be sold as a handheld bag. However, the D rings are still attached to the side. So if you want to add your own strap, then you can. So now we've cleared that up, let's get onto the bag. So it is an oak. 
Um, it's in a silky snake finish. So this was like the original uh, finish they did in this leather. So basically it is, uh, it's, a, it's a sanded leather for Mulberry. But what's happened is the scales have been hand cut into the bag, um, which to give and emulate the look of snake skin, um, the, the scales then do over time lift and it's designed to do that so it looks like a genuine like python skin or snake skin look. Yep. Um, however, this can over time also um, wear to the point where the scales come off. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's very rare, isn't it? I was going to say, it doesn't happen very often. And I must so say, you I think have to give that disclaimer when selling. I was just going to say, a lot of people um, would com would complain, you know, a, a few days in that they've lifted slightly. And you yeah. have to explain that, obviously, that was a characteristic of the bag. And once you know that, it's actually quite a nice characteristic. But like that it. one, you can't see, it's not marked or no. it's not kind of lifted to the point is you can see the underneath, but they're all kind of, you can feel them. However, it does make, especially on this star bag, it does make the bag a lot slouchier. It sort of takes away like weight yes. from the bag because they cut in and cut out. Um, so you get this more like, you can see on the top, it's just a slightly more slouchy look. Whereas they've done this in clutches and uh, Delphi's and things like that. And they're much more structured. Because they're structured more, but yeah. yeah. And actually we had a large page order a couple, a couple oh, of yeah, months yeah. ago in black, didn't we? In the same leather. It was the same situation. Yeah, when you cross the handles slouch. at the top, it kind of, kind of more slouchy. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And that's when just letting the handles like sit Let how they want same. to, as opposed to... Crunch in the top. Yeah, but the handles are as well in the silky snake finish, which is which is really the nice. The whole bag is, yeah. Yeah, it's actually it's actually a very nice bag. Um, it has its fob, which is unusual for staff purchases. Um, we shan't complain though, because it matches the bag, which is perfect. Um, it has the original padlock still in there, which is a pull and twist padlock, which would go in your postman's lock. I feel like I'm a splitter, like I'm on MasterChef, like explaining yep. a meal. That's it's okay. so weird, but this is what the people want. But not everyone watching this video has maybe experienced this bag, so you have to yeah. do that. Um, so you've got the soft gold hardware, which was one of many hardwares from Mulberry, probably the most popular, but they've done uh, gunmetal, copper, antique rose brass. gold, antiques brass, silver, um, gold brass yep. like the new johnny coco but this is in the soft the soft gold it's got the tree um logo logo embossed into it which has now been changed into the mulberry spell out if you're aware of the changes the changes these bags are piped around the corners as opposed to the ink and um sort of tuck um other method they use um so i would just be cautious when popping these on the floor or hard surfaces because um the piping is one of the sort of like sweet spaces that go quite quickly they can be repaired by mulberry but you have to have your whole bag done so it is up to you um these corners are perfect on these this bag um there's no wear as to speak of um it's quite simple on the front you've got the classic Mul uh, mulberry base water adjustable size which bring it in a bit these can be released slightly um but it doesn't really change a whole lot to the bag but it will change the silhouette so please be aware of that uh and the back and the other side is quite quite simple no feet on this one I like how symmetrical the, the snake print is uh, on the bottom. I mean, that's quite an anal thing to say, but it's actually really nice, well placed. I, I actually really like the Silky Snake. It's my favourite. Yeah, it's um, a lovely, it's a lovely One leather. of my favourite finishes. Um, they've also, I just found out, um, just because I read things, um, that they've stopped using Python on their bags. Uh, and so they swap from Python this is such a weird story they swapped from python to rat snake so they did like a white red and blue bag and they did some green snake skin they weren't python they were uh rat snake um which is a more sustainable um snake skin if you will yeah um because there's more of them in circulation etc i won't go into it now it's also a long story now they're not using it at all they're using a faux a faux python which i think is good uh, to be more sustainable. Now, I'm actually going to read into that more to find out whether they're actually still using the rat snake because it's more sustainable and just going down this sustainable route of saying faux python yes. instead of just saying snake skin, I or see. it's not actually a snake at all and it's a 
it's a lever. I see what you, you mean. see what I'm saying? Whether, whether you're using the terms to I don't know if they like... just reworded it. Yeah, mm. I see what you're saying. Interesting. No, Because at the same time, they did this so-called silky snake that you're holding now, yeah. which obviously is a leather, which they printed that or start, cut that into. Um, you had proper Python. When I say proper Python, I actually mean Python skills. Yeah, that's And what a I'm purse saying. retail, which would have been in a regular leather, maybe £200 at the time, mind you, knew. Yeah. Would, would have been about five, six, seven hundred pounds yeah, in the Python. Yeah, it was... It, like, Dramatic price, difference in cost. Because it was expensive, because obviously it had it to go exotic. through a very uh, um, hard, like process to get the skins because yep. of obviously doing it ethically and yep. etc same with ostrich uh hair carp was a higher price because it there's the the similar kind of reasons but similar also similar reasons but it was harder to like maintain, maintain and, yeah. and put the bags together without it molting exactly um so you've got the classic flap top um with the postman's lock as so so the inside is suede lined again you will find from this like sort of that's my stuff in um for you will <laughs> you will find from this like time era that a lot of the bags were suede the time when they were coming out of microfiber um and going back to the suede due to popular demand um they weren't very like in terms of microfiber done a video on it they weren't very like uniform about it in terms of like lilies had microfiber base waters had suede it was no. just random it really was random but this has got a really gorgeous like chocolate suede so it's not even oak it's like dark it's really it's actually and, i'm and you didn't get that you didn't get that color suede on an oak bag no Normally, it's did really you? nice no. um but because this would have been a limited edition or not limited Limited edition. I went to that seasonal finish. Yep. It was also more um, a luxury finish, in fairness, it, uh, in terms of price as well. Yeah, yeah, it was much more expensive. And in terms of mulberry, they don't do limited edition bags. They're seasonal. So if you ever see the word limited edition, it just means yeah. it's seasonal. Or they made limited in terms of they made a limited run because they didn't really want to put them in production. Yeah, that sounds really bad. Very, very few. No, it's true. Very few. What you're saying is actually limited edition. So that they didn't make five hundred pieces. Or no, it'd actually it be probably referred to as a sample. Yeah. If it was bought from outlet and it was like an unusual thing that wasn't, or it was runway, it was probably a runway piece or sample as opposed to limited edition. Agreed. Limited edition um, occurs the fact that they made a smaller run of them yeah, for, a, oh, it's for a limited a purpose. It's a limited amount. Yeah. But it wasn't for a purpose. What you're saying is seasonal bags with them technically is a limited edition or a limited yes. run every time they do a seasonal bag. Yeah, seasonal. Yes. Um, this would have been a seasonal piece, so they would have made a lot of them for a short amount of time. Um, I'm going to take the stuff in out, close your ears. So the suede continues all throughout the bag. This bag is actually very clean. I give that to um, my glamorous assistant and co-owner, yeah. Austin Aubrey, because he cleans and restores all our bags for you. If that is a service you're looking for, then just hit us up because we can uh, give you a little wee price on that. Um, it's got the adjustable insides. On this one, it's not buckled, it's on poppers. I don't know if you can see that. They're called porcelain studs. Yep. Are you impressed? I remember that. Yeah, I am. Because we used to get told off. So our manager used to come around and tell us like the correct technical terms for things and to say it to customers. And then you would be with a customer and you'd be like, they don't care if it's a porcelain stud or a stud. Most <laughs> people didn't like... know it had studs at this point, correct? <laughs> yeah, but she used to stand, she used to stand near you and go, porcelain stud. It was like a really like comedic thing. Yeah, it was hilarious. Yes. Porcelain studs. Um, but you remembered it, so to be fair to her, say what you will, that makes, she did a job. It just makes me laugh, but then if you listen to her, she would never, never say ever, ever. <laughs> Probably forget their bag had studs at some good, point. Good times, if she, if she was on the shop floor. Oh, <laughs> beef. Anyway, so you've got the inner pocket again. You've got the mulberry patch here. The gold the gold leaf was on to suede, so you've got a little bit of wear there. It was just it's just a natural thing putting gold leaf on suede because it's it's like fibrous. It's yeah, skinny. it's true. It doesn't um, lay down like you stamp it on, for example, no, it's, a leather. It's actually a silly move. It's got a fob and then obviously your little um, serial number. This has still got the sticker on it from when it was quality checked. If you ever see a little sticker, oh, I might do another video about this. If you ever see a little sticker or a red dot or like one that says like a, a number or on a it, number. that will be who quality checked your bag. And a what line factory. number. The line number, yeah. Because factory, rookery and, um, rookery and willows had different colours, yep. um, etc. So it means your bag was quality checked and that we didn't do our jobs and take the stickers out. Um, all the stickers are meant to come out before they hit the shop floor. Uh, but many people don't do it because... Um, 
Well, but by certain people we were told, thing, management wise, yeah. we were told to take everything out. By certain people we were told to leave him because some um, members of the kind of mobile community like the fact that it obviously never been taken out. Yeah, like it makes it like packaged and I don't know. Like brand just, new, brand new kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you've got that, don't be like alarmed. It's like when I see Gucci shoes that have got like the little number with the sticker of the, the size on it. I always think they look so like, like, uh, like cheap fake uh, but that did, they actually come no, with that no uh, yeah we actually did an Alexander McQueen video with the exact same thing yeah absolutely just, just to mention as well while you're, while you're talking about that yeah um, guys we're talking about the kind of the stuff which was left on or, or wasn't yeah, left on yeah. as the case may be how many of you watching this video who are on a mulberry with a clash or, or, or a push oh, lock? Oh, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll have a look at your push lock right this second. Go and find your bag. And I promise you, most of you won't realise there was a piece of transparent plastic on that, which is still on there. Go and so, see if it's got it. So we were told, I will do a mulberry video because it's very interesting and I really enjoyed my time working there. Um, if you, we were told that we had to get every single piece of plastic off the bags that went on the shop floor. Yep. And this was, we, this was an outlet at the time. And when you say shop floor, you mean display pieces, correct? Display pieces. Yeah. Um, we used to spend hours, hours, just trying to get the padlock yep. out of the cloche. Yep. <laughs> we just, I'd have blisters on my fingers. This one still has the plastic on, correct? This one still has the plastic on. I'm not even going to do it because it's, it's so, hard. so hard to push up. But if you, if you, if you kind of get, manage to get it out and, and there's, a, there's a piece of plastic wound around the top, the kind of the side, the full sides, not the bottom. But there, can you show it? There you go. Yeah. Is the plastic still on? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So what I'm saying is most people never get that padlock off. And I guarantee if you've never got the padlock out, which most people I've don't, people, go and check yours now and comment if you've got your I've, plastic on. I've had people, a lot, a lot of people say, I didn't even know there was a padlock in there. It's so true. Yeah, that's fun. It's meant to go through the postman's lock for X security. Although we all know it's a pull and push lock now, whereas in 2003 when they introduced it was a, uh, yeah, a, lot of people it was a key. key. A lot of people didn't even know that if you just pull it, you just pull it towards yourself, that's yeah. how you undo it and yeah. twist it. Oh. Here, look. Boop, 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 boom. There you go. Um, anyway, going off the subject. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I like that. They can be replaced as well. Interesting fact, because I see a lot of people selling on eBay for stupid prices. Um, no hate if that's you, but I appreciate the hustle. Um, but you can get them replaced from Mulberry. Last time I checked, they were £35. Um, Max, they'd be going for now about 40 maybe. they probably go up a little bit more. Yeah. Same as Louis Vuitton. Obviously, Louis Vuitton, you have to prove you actually own a bag. You can't just go and buy padlock yep, yep. um but mulberry you can um and outlet always normally had a little stock of them behind the till and what most stores do actually uh, uh, because people used to nick the ones off the side of del rey's yeah uh, yeah that's actually a really fun fact because once again the cloche was so hard to get out for us let, never mind anyone else but because on the del rey's they're on the, the outside edge you it's, just pull them they, they would they would take them. them there was also two sizes on the del rey's wasn't there yeah Anyway, I digress. Um, sorry, back to the satchel. Um, so if anyone wants any more info about like the lever type or they want to, to talk about MVT lever versus CVT lever versus silky snake versus hair car versus ostrich, then I will do a video on it if there is a request for that. Or if you'd like any more info on the small Bayswater, when we do get a, um, a normal lever i say normal very loosely but like an mvt lever i do another yeah. video on this because it's a very different bag in different levers i'd agree with, that. with everything but this this one particularly um and this one will be to sell with us i haven't priced it yet but it will be dropping on our website www.bsluxurylifestyle by the end of the week we've got a big drop coming there's a cara there's a late no that's mine oh my goodness i nearly sold my latent um but there's multiple people there's also another an, another anthony two anthony's, yeah, anthony's um if you in terms of mulberries, uh, Camden. Uh, yeah, with Balenciaga backpack coming. Balenciaga, if you're interested in that, we'll do a video on that. Um, but that is the Bayswater satchel. This one video will probably be a bit longer. If you've got all this way, then you are amazing. Um, I might start doing it so you get, if you get to the end of the video, you can comment. Something, um, something interesting, something interesting. Uh, ten percent in the comments, and you can get ten percent off the website. That's an awesome idea. The there you go. Unless it's Austin's mum, she can't have ten percent. Stop off the UK. asking for discount. <laughs> she doesn't really. <laughs> she really will chuckle. That movie. <laughs> anyway, baseball satchel. Um, 
If you're interested in Bayswaters, there are multiple Bayswater videos comparing Bayswaters, etc., in our videos already stocked up for you. I will tag a couple if you're interested. If not, please subscribe. Um, even if you put us on mute because you're only interested in certain bags, we would appreciate it. And we're, when we're back in the real world, I say real world, when everything's open again, we'll start going shopping again and taking you with us. Until in then... Binge watch, binge watch, binge watch. Over 100 videos now um, on our channel. There's gotta be something for you. And if there's not, watch them in anyway.